I'm here at CES 2016, and I'm surrounded by car companies that are all talking about self-driving or autonomous vehicles. Now, while that may seem like a faraway concept, the next car you buy it may actually have some self-driving features. Now, why is this such a big deal? It's because autonomous driving can actually make the roads safer. Computers don't make mistakes like humans do. They can never get distracted, and they can never get tired. When people think of autonomous driving cars, they think of futuristic concepts like this one from Toyota or the Google car. But the truth is, cars like these, they're still decades away because the technology is not quite there yet. In the meantime, you're gonna see different levels of autonomy. In fact, I've driven thousands of miles in our test cars, such as the Tesla Model S and the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, which would steer within a lane and adjust your speed automatically. And later this year, Cadillac has announced that they will allow you to take your hands off the steering wheel in some situations on their Cadillac CT6. This year at CES, we've heard from many automakers committing to delivering this technology in the next few years, but safety is still the utmost concern, and if the car encounters anything it can't quite handle, they'll tell you to put your hands back on the wheel and take control again. Please hold the touch sensor with both thumbs. One of the coolest things about this technology is it's going to evolve over time. The way they're gonna do that is as the cars drive, they're gonna take what they learned and send it up to the cloud, and that information will actually go to the fleet of vehicles, making them all better drivers. This type of deep learning is already happening. Take a look at this demonstration from Toyota. These cars are actually driving by themselves, but just a short time ago, they were actually hitting each other. They've learned how to drive nicely together and avoid obstacles. And here's the best thing, it's not going to be just an expensive luxury cars. There are many affordable cars that are offering this technology very soon too. And it might just be on the next car that you buy. For our full coverage of CES, join us on social media and YouTube, as well as consumerreports.org.